Hey guys! Kim asked a really great question yesterday. So she asked, what happens if a person eats too much protein? Is it stored as fat or is it used to produce sugar? For this reason, I decided to do a short crash course on biochemical pathways first. As you can see here, here are the three main energy sources, carbohydrate, fat and protein. These macromolecules are broken down into smaller molecules that can enter the citric acid cycle. The citric acid cycle is represented by this lemon here. Uh, citric acid cycle is a series of biochemical reactions where different intermediates are transformed into each other. Each intermediate is represented by a circle. Uh, at the same time, some molecules are formed that are utilized to produce energy, ATP. This process is called oxidative phosphorylation. Oxidative because oxygen is needed for it as well. That is the reason why we need to breathe. And oxygen is transformed into water at the same time. Uh, now back to the top. Here's acetyl-CoA. It's one of the main intermediates for our energy metabolism because glucose can be broken into acetyl-CoA, fat can be broken down into acetyl-CoA, also acetyl-CoA is used to synthesize fat and some of the amino acids are broken down into acetyl-CoA. These are the ketogenic amino acids because acetyl-CoA uh, is used to produce some of the ketones. And ketones is another energy source for our bodies. For example, heart muscle prefers ketones to glucose. And um, yeah, some of the amino acids are glucogenic. This means they can be broken down to molecules that can be used to produce glucose. For example, several of the molecules uh, shown here. Um, in this context, um, oxaloacetate is a very important intermediate because that is a starting material for glucose production. So if our body doesn't have enough glucose, it can just synthesize glucose itself from oxaloacetate. So if you hear things like, our body needs sugar to function, that's true because red blood cells need glucose. But it doesn't mean that we have to eat glucose because we have this amazing pathway and our bodies can synthesize glucose. Okay, uh, now I would like to address also another uh, sentence which is fats burn in flame of carbohydrates. Um, as you can see here, fats are broken down into acetyl-CoA and in order to enter the citric acid cycle they have to combine with oxaloacetate, which can be produced by breaking down of sugars, of glucose, or by uh, degradation of amino acids. For this reason, if a person eats low calories and uh, fat is utilized for energy, also it might happen that some of the muscles are broken down because in order to utilize fat as energy, this molecule has to be present. And if there's a low carb diet and no glucose is available, then muscle are cannibalized as fuel. Okay, and uh, so what happens so with if we overconsume protein? If we are on a low carb diet where no glucose is available, some of the protein will enters this pathway to produce glucose in order to fuel our red blood cells and, for example, also other cells that are glucose dependent. If we are overeating on calories in general, also on sugar, fat and protein, and enough sugar is available, then most probably um, the amino acids will take this pathway and be used to uh, produce uh, uh, fat and to store it as fat. Okay, thanks a lot. I hope it wasn't too biochemical. If you have any questions, please comment below.